Hello, and welcome to the Regional Health Report. I'm Ann Krebs. This monthly program highlights the world-class health care provided at each of our Regional Health Command Atlantic Medical Facilities, dental clinics, and public health units to soldiers, their families, retirees, and other beneficiaries. Our commitment to convenient quality health care is why we place primary care clinics called community-based medical homes off post where our patients live. The Richmond Hill Medical Home, which serves Fort Stewart, Georgia, as part of the Fort Stewart Hunter Army Airfield Medical Activity, recently achieved a quality milestone. The Richmond Hill Medical Home achieved National Committee for Quality Assurance Recognition Level 3 on their renewals for the second time since opening in spring of 2011. I can tell you in my 36 years of practicing medicine, this is truly the best setting for a physician, for nurses, to provide care on a primary care note to our patients. The Richmond Hill Medical Home team practices transparency in regards to medical care deliverance. We are at the top of national standards for deliverance of health care in a primary care setting which is what we all achieve here at our clinic. Miriam Cases, the supervisory nurse at Richmond Hill Medical Home, touched on the importance of providing a welcoming work environment for patients and staff. We need to be that advocate for the, for the patient to the providers. I always tell the nurses uh, when they first come here that we are a team. That's the first thing that I tell a nurse, we are a team. The Richmond Hill Medical Home provides beneficiaries with primary care providers who comprehend what it means to be a service member. We understand what it is to be in the military and, and what the stresses on the family are. At the end of the day, Bartell said he is proud of his team and honored to lead them now and into the future. From Wind Army Community Hospital Public Affairs, I'm Zach Grenstrom for the Regional Health Report. Richmond Hill's medical home cares for about 8,200 patients. Down the road from Fort Stewart at Hunter Army Airfield, Tuttle Army Health Clinic Lieutenant Colonel Michael Tarpey assumed command from Colonel J.K. Weaver. Lieutenant Colonel Michael Tarpey assumed command of Tuttle Army Health Clinic during a change of command ceremony held at Hunter Club June 1st. Tarpey accepted command from outgoing Tuttle Commander Colonel J.K. Weaver, Commanding General Regional Health Command Atlantic Provisional Brigadier General Ronald J. Place presided over the ceremony. The very heart of the mission of this post, including Army Aviation, Special Operations, and other Army capabilities, is to be ready to deploy at short notice anywhere in the world. Place recognized the individual accomplishments that Weaver attained during his command. This is a leader who truly cares about the education and the advancement of his soldier and civilian staff. The evidence of that care is that Colonel Weaver personally re-enlisted every eligible soldier in this unit. His leadership and development efforts have helped Army Medicine retain high quality, superbly trained medical personnel. I want to personally thank everyone on the talk staff for their dedication, commitment, and patience. I'm extremely proud of you. And I will look back on my time here with personal pride and warm thoughts of being a member of a special team because of your professionalism. That's because of you. During Weaver's command, Hunter Army Airfield was selected as the pilot site for an innovative automated pharmacy management system. The method improves on the safety and workflow of the pharmacy and helps improve soldier readiness. Tarpey impressed on the significance of his new charge and how he is prepared to take command of Tuttle. I guarantee that the same ethos which has propelled Army medical personnel to such tremendous success caring for our wounded under fire over the last 15 years of war will continue to be leveraged here at Tuttle Army Health Clinic on a daily basis to ensure that the soldiers and units we support are always 100% prepared to go into battle at a moment's notice against our nation's enemies in the defense of freedom. For the Wind Army Community Hospital Public Affairs, I'm Zach Renstrom. After a successful command in providing medical care to 13,500 beneficiaries, Colonel Weaver will continue to serve the Army on the Pentagon's joint staff. Finally, Vice Chief of Staff of the Army, General Daniel B. Allen, saw the capabilities of virtual health recently when he visited Blanchfield Army Community Hospital at Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Through use of video technology, patients received medical care from physicians at Eisenhower Army Medical Center at Fort Gordon, Georgia. Our region continues its collaboration with Army Medicine to deliver clinical services across 18 time zones and 30 countries in support of soldiers around the world. 
Well, I think uh, above all, it uh, extends the reach of uh, Army medicine to uh, the point of need. And uh, with, with all the uh, low density specialties that we have in, in uh, the medical community, it enables the, those specialties to be brought to bear uh, where they're needed, uh, particularly in harm's way where, where soldiers are operating away from uh, you know, tier one medical uh, professionals. So this is, uh, this is a groundbreaking capability. Uh, I've seen it work in Afghanistan in Regional Command East. Um, telemedicine and virtual uh, health providers are absolutely on the leading edge of what we're going to need for the future. Uh, you know, with an army that's operating in 140 countries around the world, uh, we've got to be able to bring the care they need uh, to the point of need responsively. And this is a, a way to do that. Uh, uh, and I think it can be uh, hugely uh, important, not only for the medical professionals and what they do, uh, but for the faith and trust that our soldiers and families uh, depend upon. That's the Regional Health Report for July. Join us next month for another show highlighting health care across the region. In the meantime, don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and YouTube. Thanks for joining us.